Welcome back guys, half fast 719. Just got done walking about it's not on there anymore. About two miles on the treadmill. So good morning. Welcome back to half fast 719. I didn't say that already. So here we go. Here is my mega cab storage bob compartment so basically the back seat is this way this is the back of the truck and then uh, I think you push these and you pull it up so I'll go ahead and clean this all up um, get it looking good um, not, not that bad of shape a couple little scratches some bugs or grass or whatever normal stuff that people would probably put in the back of a truck we have this this one gouge right here um, I'm gonna try to see if I can't fluff that up a little bit a couple other things looks like some glue maybe so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set you all on a tripod sorry for the lazy voice but I got a migraine probably the size of big 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 migraine so let me go ahead and clean this up I'll be back with you and then uh, probably show you what it looks like cleaned up if I can get it cleaned up looking good if not I'll just throw it in do a video throwing it in I'll be back Alright guys, 
It's all cleaned up. <clears throat> this handle was is pretty dry. It's pretty dried up. Um, I don't know, maybe a chemical was spilt on it or something, but um, inside here looked like a bunch of water had been on it. Um, got this raised as much as I can. This is where the long line was. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is just all just taking a, a brush, like a carpet brush, and uh, fluffing it up basically. Just trying to bring it back up because. I don't know, it might be just matted down so bad. Or it could be missing. Missing some fibers. But anyway. Got that, got this handle all cleaned up. <clears throat> I had some still kinda has some I don't know. Looks like glue or something. Some type of glue on it. Um, but other than that, that's it. Now let's go. Let's go install this thing. Well, let's go to the other side. Take off these bolts. So I always use my trusty. Also tools, crash or adjustable wrench, also tools. Um, so I know now that these nuts are 13 millimeter because it, it comes in at a half inch. Um, half inch is what this thing says. So, so the seat down. If you guys can even. See what I'm doing with the camera. Okay. So yeah, we got those little stud, that stud, this stud, this stud, this stud, this stud, or is that a dud? Anyway, um, just pulling these these nuts off. So. Um, like I said, I use this, uh, adjustable wrench from Ulsa Tools. Whenever I don't know the size, up to one inch, I'll run out, I'll go grab that. And, uh, I use that. You can use any, any adjustable wrench, but I think this one's kind of cool because it tells you the size, half inch but that uh, transfers to 13 millimeter because this truck is metric so let me go let me go get the piece and uh, move the subwoofer and we'll see if it'll fit if the subwoofer will fit on top if not this thing's gonna have to come out i'll be back dun 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 fail all right guys just like everything in my life, besides the family, fail. So apparently, this is the right, it's the right piece, but there's some weird bracketry that bolts from here to there. Um, yeah, and then I guess there's some pieces missing here too, like, uh, they look like little covers. Um, I was over here messing with it today, shooting the video, and came in here and was like, man, that's the wrong, wrong one. But turns out it's actually not the wrong one. It's just missing, missing the piece. So speaker box is staying in. Ugh, plus this thing kind of stinks. Oh, it smells like swap meat, dollar store. So, speaker box going back in, nuts going back on. Um, there's a guy, 
a guy down probably like 30 miles away from me he has one that has the bracket the bracket that goes that way uh, I never I didn't see him it was on offer up I never really looked for it other than eBay and through like uh, dealer websites I guess and uh, yeah I might um, I might go down there tomorrow or something wants 125 bucks for it it's a factory subwoofer See if it'll take a hundred bucks. I'll go down there, buy it, and then uh, maybe put that one up for sale on somewhere. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I was out here doing it earlier, and I just had a huge, huge, huge migraine, man. I could not. I couldn't be outside anymore. Um, so I had to. I went inside and. Which I rarely, rarely ever do. I had to take some Advil, and it basically just covered my head and, and fell asleep. So speaker box is uh, staying in. I guess. I guess the speaker box is speaker box won that battle. Um. So. Oh jeez. Crushing the wires and short everything out. Which, whatever. Oh my god. Sorry. Hold on, my butt's in the way. Oh. Okay, well, it is what it is, or what it are. Alright guys, it's going to be it for this video, this fail video. I just mainly came out to get my camera. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, you all got to learn, I got to learn. So, um, eventually, I'll have this all flat in there. Alright guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Let me know how I fail. How life sucks. Um, uh, bird poop or something. Ground was wet. I was wondering why it was wet. Alright guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do. Later.